<clears throat> Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to speak on music's behalf and say that I'm really proud of myself because for the first time in, I would say, like, fucking years, I went out and bought albums. I didn't, I have been, ever since music's been free uh, to download, I have been taking advantage of that. And for someone who is so hardcore in love with music, I should be, you know, paying some dues, paying some respect to these artists that I love. So I, I went out and for Christmas I bought myself, um, let's see, I bought the new music, Soul Child, on my radio. I bought Anthony Hamilton, it's called um, Do the Right Thing or fucking, I forget what it's called. Ludicrous Theater of the Mind, Jasmine Sullivan, I forget what that one's called too. Common, I bought the Kanye West, um, I bought Usher, I bought the new Jack Johnson, I bought the old Lupe Fiasco, The Cool, because I downloaded that album and I really, really liked it. Um, anyway, oh, am I leaving anyone out? Anthony Hamilton, did I say that? I don't remember. But anyway, so I feel really, really good and that I've I've gone and bought albums, but it's re I'm really addicted to music, so I don't I just can't afford my habit. Um, I can just go and download in like infinite amounts of music, um, as opposed to I just don't have enough money to keep up with my habit of music, because like when I went in, um, I saw all these albums that like I don't have, and all these old school albums that I'm in, the, in love with that I've lost and or like just you know forgotten about and like I just wanted to buy the whole fucking store but anyway um, a quick review okay I'll tell you whose CDs were really really good Jack Johnson if you're a fan of Ben Harper or Jack Johnson like that real low-key guitar under the palm tree hippie music totally love it total Jack Johnson fan right here um, Common CD sucked I'm sorry Common I'm, I liked like the last track and like maybe one other one, but it was totally like just like different from what I'm used to hearing from Common and it, I miss his old school stuff. Anyway, um, John Legend loved it. It was a great album. There's a couple songs on that album that are just like my favorite. Although his first album will always be in my heart as classic, the most classic, my favorite. Um, Anthony Hamilton, amazing. He can never go wrong with his soulful voice. Um, another, I didn't like Kanye West CD. I didn't like his last one either. So I know, I know everybody's different. Sorry, I'm getting ready to go out to dinner. I know everybody's different, but and like some people are like, no, his last album was amazing. Uh, I beg to differ. I think it's different, but like in the bad way. Like he's experimenting and like trying the new the new era of changing your voice to sound like like a fucking retarded robot. I like Kanye, I respect him and everything, but his album sucked and it was disappointing. Um, you know what? I don't... Oh, Lupe Fiasco, please go get his album. He is good and he is he's intelligent and poetic and he's like clever. I really like him. Jasmine Sullivan has an amazing voice. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm in love with that album. Um, and I think that's really about it. That is all for the music critic. But how many of you guys out there actually buy your albums or do you, are you also addicted to free music? And you have to remember it's like really easy to catch a virus um, if you download from like LimeWire or whatever. Um, I also have a, other secret places where I find new music for free and I'm not giving it away because that would make you just as cool as I am, and we can't have that. Um, I gotta go out to dinner. Comment. Let me know what's up. Bye.